so I fixed something the target of target wasn't on and I wanted to change that and I got jumped all right kill this last guy then we head back and get some pants I believe I do so believe Just in case something wants to come up and try to hit me. Even though there are plenty of turns to stop that. <laughs> and this guy. Zorba. Woot, and we leveled up. Yay! That is not what I wanted. Where are my pants? Oh, there they are. Joining the Defiant Forces at Rubicon. Sounds like a like a Rubik's Cube convention. Rubicon. Uh, that was too easy. Let's see, what else do we have? Dark Armor. Thunder Blast. Which is another instant. Huh. This is like just full of instants? Instant spells? Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can speak. Consumption. Saps beneficial energies from the enemy, removing a single buff effect and returning 5% of the mage's maximum mana. What's over here? Nedra's Torture. Curse the enemy, increasing death damage. The next 20 seconds. Deals. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Alright. So, put a point in there. Uh, I don't really like either of these. Let's put a point in there for now. Wait. Take a point out of that, actually. Damage of your pets, soul rend deals. So, yeah, do you ever get any more pets? Essence link, track undead. Summon skeletal stalwart. Teaches the bones of the fallen warrior from the ground. Do the mage's bidding. Maximum level of the summoned pet is 18. Only one pet may be active at a time. Uh, any more pets? A better pet? Shadow Revenant. Tears the spirit of falling mage from the void. Do the mage's bidding. Alright, so you get your first little weak guy. Then you get a warrior. Then you get a mage. Corpse explosion. Last gasp. Mass Grave summons an uncontrolled level 50 version of the Mage's Skeletal Zealot and Shadow Revenant pets. Wow. So you get two really strong guys. But that's when you have 51 points, so that's when you like get all the way up, I would guess. I'm looking for Revenant. Oh well. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the warlock tree. Go down and get dark armor. Alright. Dark armor! Yay! <laughs> that was dark armor. Yay, it lasts an hour. Yay for one hour buffs. I love one hour buffs. Alright. Um, who do I have to talk to? I have to talk to you. Raj, no, I'll talk to you. Wait, wait, where's my little guy? Is this mine? Can't tell. Oh, he was doing something. That's why I can't talk to him. There are too many. Launch a construct now. Okay, there's already one deployed. That would make sense. So basically for this quest... He tells you to run through where a whole bunch of people are attacking to get to the rift, to go back in time. And basically, you can run over there and you'll get slaughtered by a whole bunch of people. Not these, there's more. But, um. And basically, you go back and you're like. Or if you've already done it, you can just ask them. You can be like, hey, there's way too many people. Can you send a construct? See? Lots and lots of people. And he'll be like, yeah, sure. And then he'll launch this thing, which one-shots everyone. 
Ed knocks them back. And is awesome and huge and unbelievably strong, which is great. things just randomly turn into blockade. Alright, lots more. But yeah, just follow the giant construct as it goes through demolishing people. Oh, no, and don't fall off cliffs, people. Falling off cliffs is bad. Wow. Alright, so as we go up here. This thing's so badass. Just kill everyone. Who cares? This is basically the defiant version of go stand in the light and you're ascended soul goes pew pew on all those things blocking your way yeah this is just the defiant version they use a machine instead of light alright so we're finally here they're all happy like yay yeah, you made it yeah thanks for helping um this is whenever you die your soul is well my soul's fine my soul's awesome but you lose soul vitality just a little whenever you die. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but there's a healer for it, so. Alright, so turn in that. Get a quest to go talk it to someone at the fail safe device, which is the, uh, the device, the time traveling thing. And we're able to choose either a staff. Pretty simple staff. A resurrection blade which is a sword pretty simple not spellcaster at all looking sword but whatever two intellect four intellect so I don't actually have an offhand so I'm gonna end up picking the staff do to do all right need to talk to Queenie Nadane who says as soon as you leave we're going to be overcome by regulars we hope to hold out a little longer, but we had to reroute all the power toward the failsafe to ensure you can make it to the past. Which means basically every other defiant here is going to die. All the all the people who have helped me get through here, who I helped, all of them are going to die. Because Regulos is hitting a little harder than they expected, so they had to kind of speed it up. How does it work? I'm ready. Activate it. Regulos, of course, is intervening. Messing with the temporal stream. And a rift forms. Which looks pretty cool. I don't know if you saw it, but I was able to catch it at the top of my screen. The actual, like, top of the screen, like melded into the rift, which looked pretty cool. I didn't actually get, I don't know, not to see. Alright, hey, there's someone here. Hello. How's Beth the Discordant? Oh, you're gonna summon a whole bunch of enemies, huh? Yep. Just like any rift, phase one. This time though, instead of trying to um, stop the or destroy those pillars or whatever, this time it's just kill six guys. my heal? Let me heal. Oh, that's right. I can't use it in combat, huh? Yeah, yeah I can't use it in combat. Alright. Let's 
health regenerates like super fast when in combat. So I mean when out of combat, so I mean not to see too much point to that. Plus it seems I'm taking a few more hits than him. Alright. Last one. Alright. Stage complete. Why do you resist the will of regulars? Are you really so eager to die again? Alright, now we have a stitched abomination who I cannot target. There we go. Wow, has some lag. Enough of this foolishness, I shall slay you myself, and then my mask shall consume this world at last. So just... I'll just beat her up, and the guards and Asha Kalari all come to help. She can take a beating. just just have to go through it oh but regulus spawns out of nowhere did you mortals really think you could stop the power of regulus all right now no oh, giant dragon spawn only you can stop him Stop this. Get through that portal and make sure this never happens. Go, Defiant. Fight your way back to the past and deliver the warnings of this failed future. The cults will release the dragons. The ward will fall. And Regulus will descend on Talara, bringing us face to face with our annihilation. If you do not stop this chain of events, everything we have worked for, everything we have died for, will have been in vain. You are our one chance to alter history defiant. You must forge a new future for Talara. Alright, so yeah, that's the Defiant starting zone, and I get back here and everyone's like, Oh my god, the machine, it actually turned on, and who are you, and... So yeah. Turn in the quest. Saying, hey, I'm from the future. It was really sucky. But I have to stop it. Yeah. You go into a war, you spawn into a war zone between Defiant and what I can only assume is Guardian, considering there are giant balls of light shooting back. But yeah. So that's that. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I will try to put out some more videos. Don't know what you guys want to see though, so I'm just gonna be putting out random stuff. Um, so yeah. Hmm. <laughs> there's, a, there's a way to hide the interface. Not that I know of. I'm gonna have to do a video of like all everyone's dance, all the races, female and males. That's totally what I'm gonna do now. Alright, see you next time.